Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is on the makeup look that I'm wearing right here. It's on this brown smoky eye with glitter liner and I saw this picture. Let me see if I could find it and I could show it to you guys. This is the picture right here that inspired me. It says at Mrs. Akaleva. So I'm pretty sure that's on Instagram because I found the picture on Pinterest. But yeah, it's just like a really pretty dark brown smoky eye with um, a black wing liner and glitter liner. So that is the look that I wanted to do today. It really inspired me and I just got some of the new ColourPop Press Shadows in the mail. It's the bottom, sh it's all of these bottom sh shades down here. And number one, I love ColourPops. So I really wanted to try these and I was so impressed, honestly. I didn't think that they were going to be bad, but for $5, they are so great. I've used them. I've used them twice, and I love them so much. I think blending was so easy. The colors are so pigmented. Like, let me do one swipe. One swipe. Like, oh my god, this is such a pretty color. Ugh. This one actually is high strung. This is the look that I did right here, and I hope you guys like it. By the way, I know last time I had a different background. I sat down to film, and I broke it, so I'm going to have to see if I can fix it. So this one is going to be my background for it right now, but I really like the glitter one, so I want to see if I can fix that one. But yeah, this is the look right here, and I think it's really cute. I like it a lot. I hope you guys like this look. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any um, looks in mind that you want me to do for Valentine's Day, please comment or, you know, write to me on Instagram, Twitter. Everything is listed in the beginning of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So my eyes are already primed and I just primed them with concealer and set them with some Maybelline powder. And I'm going to go in with these ColourPop pressed eyeshadows the bottom ones or the color pop ones some of the the top ones are mostly the top ones are mostly makeup geek um, morphe and glitter injections but these are the new pressed eyeshadows and i was so excited to get them i want to do kind of like a brown smoky eye with some glitter today so i'm so excited to test these out on camera i did use a few off camera and i really like them so far so first I'm going to take the shade Wake Up Call and it's just a really pretty nice transition shade. And I'm taking this on a Morphe R37. And personally, when I do smoky eyes, I don't like to go in straight with a dark shade. I mean, you could, but... To me, it's just so hard to blend it out that way, so I would recommend going from light to dark. So this first shade is pretty much a little darker than my skin tone, so I think that was a good shade to start out with. Now I'm going in with another ColourPop shade. This is called Note to Self. This is going to go on a little smaller of a blending brush. This is a Morphe M433. These shadows are so pigmented and they blend out so nicely. I'm so impressed, but it's not like I didn't expect it because I think ColourPop eyeshadows are so good. And if you do watch my channel, you know that I love them a lot. Next, I'm going to go in with a Makeup Geek shadow. This is Vintage. And I'm putting this on... I'm going to put that on that same brush that I'm using. And 
the next shade I'm going to take is ColourPop. This is Cloud 9, and this is just a little bit darker as the shade that we just used, but I thought it would be like a nice transition from vintage to this one. So I'm taking that same brush and just a tiny bit and do the same thing. And I'm going back in with that first shade, the first transition shade called Wake Up Call. And I'm just going to take it right in the crease just so I have a nice gradient effect. I like to do this a lot so it's not like light and then one dark harsh line. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to take um, Colourpop Take It Slow. This is such a gorgeous shade. I'm using a Morphe E18. Oh my god, look at that. So, as you guys know, there are many different ways that you could do smoky eyes. Um, I personally like to start with the crease. I've done many methods. I've used um, like eyeliner on the lid, and then you just smoke it out with eyeshadow. Um, I used to do, sometimes I used to do the lid first, but I find when you do that, you get kind of nervous because you feel like it's like all like a big mess on your eyes. So I think this way is the most effective because right after you do the crease, you can just put your dark shadow on the lid and it looks like a blend out smoky eye because you start from the crease and then you go to the eyelid. And to me, that's the way that I like doing it. So this is the way that I'm showing you. I'm kind of going to do like a uh, smoky eye for beginners. So I'm now taking that same dark shade that I just used in the crease and I'm going to pack this on the entire lid. I'm going to use this Kylie brush. I'm now going to make a wing with my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. And now I want to add a little glitter to this look, so I'm going to take Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy. I think this is such a pretty glitter shade. It's like just a nice silver. And I'm going to kind of make like a wing and go right over my eyeliner. you hate when you sit down to do your makeup and you think you have everything but you don't I forgot mascara and I don't feel like going up to get it right now so let's just move on and I'll come back to that I'm taking my morphe 25a palette and I want to take this shade right here for my inner corner highlight I think it's gorgeous moving on to the face I'm gonna prime with Becca backlight priming filter For foundation, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation again. I've been loving this. I'm in the shade Soft Ivory. And I'm going to try to blend this in with my Morphe M439 and see how it blends in. Sometimes when I blend this in with a brush, it kind of like loses the coverage, but let's see. So for concealer, I'm going to use that same Wet n Wild's Photo Focus in 8BOB Light Ivory. And I'm also going to take a little bit of Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination in Medium for my under eyes. And I forgot to dampen my beauty blender, so I'm just going to saturate it with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to set those areas with this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 220. First, I'm gonna line my eyes with Rimmel London. This is waterproof, waterproof coal liner. And I'm gonna mix together Maybelline Vintage and ColourPop Cloud 9 on the lower lash line and blend those together. So first, I'll take Vintage and I'm just gonna use a pencil brush. And then I'm going to take Cloud9 on a Morphe M432. This is just a definer brush and I love it. And then I'm going to take a really tiny pencil brush. This is a Morphe M515 with no shadow on it and just blend. This brush is good for smoking out anything. I love it so much. I'm just going to take my eyeliner and fix up my left wing just a little. I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. It is such a good shade for pretty much any skin tone, and especially for light skin tones, I think it's really good. The first brush I'm going to take is this one. I've been using it so much. Morphe M551. To deepen the contour, I'm going to take a little bit with the hula brush thingy. I made it too muddy looking, so I'm going to try to fix that. Let's see what I'm going to use to fix it. I'm going to fix that with a Morphe M528 with nothing on it. And just blend until your hand falls off. <laughs> That's it for contour. I don't think I'm going to use another shade. I usually use two, but I think that looks good as it is. So I'm going to take my Maybelline powder. And I like to just clean it up with a wedge. For blush, I'm going to take Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, and I love the shade so much. It's so beautiful. The brush I'm going to use is my new favorite blush brush. It's a Morphe MB4. For highlight, I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter in Peach Goddess. I love this one. This has got to be one of my top favorite highlighters. And now I'm just going to dust away that powder with my Morphe E4 and blend it in. And I need to go get my mascara, but before I go do that, I'm going to do my lips. For lip liner, I'm taking ColourPop Lip Liner in the shade Tootsie. I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now I'm going to fill that in with NYX Lingerie in the shade Satin Ribbon. It's like a nice nudie pink. I really like the way it looks when you fill them, no, when you outline with a darker and fill them in with a lighter. I think it's just a really pretty look. I'm going to be using Benefit Roller Lash first and then I'm going to top over Tarte Man Eater. 